All right, guys, welcome back to the Best Ball Lunch Break Series. Oh, wait, that's not right now. This is the Best Ball Playbook on True DFS. We are going to break down the entire, entire Best Ball Series that I've been putting together, all the daily videos. We're going to break it all down into one video, one strategy video, how to break it down position by positions, what QBs, running backs, tight ends, receivers, everything we want, all in one video. So we're, we're going to start, probably go QB by QB first. And then we're going to just kind of talk strategy and w what we want to do for best ball. So let's move over to that. We have our DraftKings. I'm doing a best ball draft right here. It's just an eight hour timed one. So I, I just wanted to pull this up um, right now. I just It's easy to go through the players this way. I do have my playbook, guys. I'm going to show this off. We have our top targets, mid rate light one, who I'm high on running back targets, receiver targets, tight end targets, higher and lower. You can see some of the guys I'm higher on, and you can see some of the guys I'm lower on here. So, in the, you know, we have their top stacks all the way down, all 32 teams. You know, then we have a late round plays. These, these are probably where the bread and butter is right here, guys. Those are what you're going to want to see. So that's kind of a premium feature, so I don't want to show that off too much, but you can kind of see what we got. I'm going to have that posted on the site. We'll elaborate on it a little bit too. So basically just want to go through a lot of this. We'll start with QBs. Like my strategies for QBs is to usually pick two QBs on the best ball draft. I'm going to try to go through this really quick so that we can have a really short video and not, not a ton of time wasted on your guys' end so you can keep drafting best ball lineups. So what we're going to do is we're going to want Hurts, Mahomes. These are some of the top tier guys. I'm a lighter on Jackson, lighter on Burrow, lighter on Fields. I don't mind Burrow. I like the Bengals stack a little bit. He is banged up a little bit to start the year, so we're unsure on that. But um, I'm just not getting his um, the good ADV, ADP value in in the in the Cincinnati stack as I I once was. It's hard to get that complete stack. Um, Herbert, I'm high on because I can get the stack easy. It's almost like I got Eckler, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, and Herbert all on lineups. So I was like, I can get this stack easy because he's going 20 to 30 picks behind where he went last year um so trevor lawrence I, I was high on his stack last year but he was a way down the list last year and he, he's come up the list but he does have an explosive offense i think they're going to be good watson he's still in the middle tier here I, I think they could have a rebound year he's supposed to be a premium quarterback he's paid like a premium quarterback so we'll see what happens Tua, you can kind of get the hill waddle to a stack i got one of those but I, I i'm not as high on that one as i, I should be um, Dak Prescott, I'm not high on it either, but you, you can get a Gallup, C.D. Lamb, um, Brandon Cooks, whatever you want there with Tony Pollard, maybe in the mix. You can't get C.D. and Tony Pollard because it goes so high. But like you can kind of get some of that because he, he goes later, so you can easily stack that. Cousins, same with Jefferson, Addison. You know, you get that later stack. Madison, you can throw him in the mid-rounds too. Um, Richardson right there, you can get him there. He's kind of like a rookie quarterback. They announced him starting. Daniel Jones, I'm lower on. Geno, I'm high on. This is a good stack. You can grab DK. You can get um, Nawabe. You can get Tyler Lockett. You get Kenneth Walker. You can get a nice stack here. And I, I don't mind Noah Fant. You can get him like last pick in the draft, man. I'm telling you what, don't sleep on him. We'll get to tight ends later. Rodgers, I like the Jets this year. I like Goff this year. These Russell Wilson, I think he's going to have a comeback year. People are still hesitant on it. I, I understand. It's it's a tough one to tough one to grab. Derek Carr, I'm not a fan of. He does look ripped. Does look good in in his training camp sessions. You know, he might they might be something in New Orleans. They got some weapons that are going higher in the draft. You know, Kamara's out a few games, but you know he'll be back week five. Um, Stafford here, you got not as high on the Ram, Rams as much, but you do got Cup. He was on pace for a solid year before he got hurt last year. Kyler Murray, this guy has 40-point upside, rushes the ball, throws the ball. Uh, this could be a play that we're unsure about for how long he's out, but I, I think he's, they say he's going to be ready to go. I don't know why he's going so late. I think you should pick him up. Jordan Love, I love. Get it, Love. I'm a Packers fan. Though. But, I mean, like you get this stack late. Watson, Dobbs, you can stack these guys late. Brock Purdy, I'm not really on there. I don't know if they're going to Trey Lance another shot. Uh, I, just, I just don't know what the plan is. Um, so... I like the weapons, maybe some, but not nah, not a fan of the stack overall. Bryce Young, Stroud, these are two young guys. We don't know what to do. They got a lot of young receivers and young talent that are going higher in the draft. So we'll see. Howell was announced starting. He could be a he could move up the draft a little bit. Um, so yeah, you can see his ADP is a little bit better than his rank. Mac Jones' ADP is 
beyond his rank, so you're getting him later than what he's supposed to be ranked. Ryder, not a fan of Grapple, could care less. Baker, maybe I got a couple of Godwin Evans stacks. Um, but yeah, so that's a breakdown for Q QBs. Let's let's run over to re uh, running backs here. Uh, CMC, solid play. He gets a lot of work. Um, he's a three down back. Probably a good play to pick up early um, if you can. I, I really like Austin Eckler. He, he's my favorite running back. John Robinson, I'm a little, I'm in the middle on this guy. I got him a little bit, but I, I'm not a huge fan of him. Um, he he's not looked good in training camp. I mean, he he's had some moments, but like coaches got him on the third on the depth chart, so I, I'm unsure they're just testing out their rookie, saying, "Hey, you got to earn your spot," type thing. Nick Chubb, I'm really high on him. He's going, you know, a per, pretty close to ADP. I, I like to grab him. Barkley, I'm not as high on Taylor. Not as high on Henry. I am. I think he's going to get some passing down work this year. Tony Pollard, he's going way above his rank. I think he's a great play. Josh Jacobs, last year he was he was the king. You know, he ran a lot, got a lot of touchdowns, a lot of rushing yards, and people drafted him way late. They're doing that again this year. He's falling back. You know, Stevenson, about in the middle on him. Bryce Hall, I was heavy on. Now they got Delvin Cook. It's a mess over there. I think I'm going to stop drafting him. Gibbs, I'm higher on. He's going earlier. ETN, I, I kind of like his backup more, but, I mean, you can he's he's feasible. Harris, I like um, a little bit. I'm in the middle. Mixing in the middle. Nothing special. Maybe lower on those guys. Walker, I'm higher on. He's going later. You can get him. Jones, kind of in the middle on. Madison, I like a lot. You can get him later. Cam Akers, not really special. Do Dobbins, you can get him way past his rank. I like that about him. Um, Swift, I'm in the middle on him. Sanders in the middle on him. He's just never really done much for us. Pierce, you know, I don't know if I like that situation. Connor, you know, draft him a little bit, but you know, nothing special there. Cook, you can grab him. He's kind of a late round. They're getting him late, so if he does get some work, he's going to be ADP value right there. White, I don't have any. I need to grab him in one of the drafts just because I need to get every running back. I like to have one of everyone at least, like a starter. Um, in, in one of my drafts, I do so many drafts. Jacko, you know, there's a lot. They they never really run the ball there. There's a passing, but you're getting him so late that I think I think he's viable. Kamara's going to be out some games. He's still viable. M Montgomery, I like in that offense is going to be splitting with Gibbs. But I mean, this guy could be a touchdown monster on the goal line. They got a lot last year, a lot of work for Jamal Williams. I think Montgomery fits that same role, um, where he gets all the touchdowns on the on the on the goal line type thing. Javante Williams. You can see his ADP is rising fast. I was already sent out a video on this guy. I, I, you should be drafting him already. I thought his rank was way low for what he should be, and, and it's showing now. You know, you're seeing him on the rise. He looks good. I, I, I don't understand what what we're doing with that. Um, so James Cook, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's you know whatever. Uh, Buffalo, they're they're passing, and Josh Allen runs so much. P. Ryan, I got a little bit of because I'm on the Denver stack. B. John Robinson, I or not B. John Robinson Jr. here, I like uh, him some. I like. I don't mind getting one of these Washington guys. I think they're trying to get Gibson in the, the passing uh, role a little bit more, so he's going to get some work there. A.J. Dillon is always a great split carry back. I like him. Ch Chabernet, um, Nay, whatever. He competes with Walker. We're unsure the the role he's going to get, but he's supposed to be pretty good. I think Walker's still the beast there. I think maybe this guy's not going to get as much work, but if Walker goes down, this guy's going to be right there. So you're going to want to pick him up late. Uh, McKinnon, Williams, Herbert, these guys are not much to me. Devon Aiken, he, he went down with an injury, so we got to monitor this. As I did this video today, I seen an uh, injury. He's carted out. Um, a lot of the, They're carting everyone out this year. It's like, oh, I got a minor injury. Just bring the card out. They're not carrying guys. They're not letting guys walk off. They're bringing the card out for everyone. Um, so some of these injuries, like, oh, he'll be back next week. I was like, you just carted him off. Like, you know, so they're pretty minor. So we'll see. We'll follow up on that. Penny, I'm not a huge fan of. Harris, you know, Buffalo's a mess. So he can compete with James Cook. I'm not, he's going way past. You get to some of these guys, if they're ranked this high, maybe their value is more this. So maybe the ADP value is better on these guys. So you got to watch that. Same with this guy, like Eli Mitchell. You know, he's behind CMC. CMC gets all the work. But if you're getting him in the 150th pick, you got to kind of take these guys. You know, that's, that, I always stick to ADP value when I'm drafting. You know, I'm taking Warren some. If I, I got him today at like 150 pick. I'm like, he was still there. Like, no one grabbed him. Like, I get he's not like the best guy in pit, but like, you got to grab him. Bigsby, you can see his ADP is higher than his rank. 
A lot of people like him. He's got a lot of buzz around him. I made a video about him already. All that. Algier and the Atlanta situation's a mess. I've drafted him a little bit, but I'd maybe shy away with it. they got a lot of backs there that run the ball. Chicago, similar situation. He's going way farther for Foreman. Most hurt. Miami's a mess, too. You know, Aikens there. You know, all the, what a mess they got going on. Miller, he's supposed to be somebody, but he's dropping back a little bit. He's got an injury. Also, you know, Kamara's coming back earlier than they thought he was going to come back, so there's a lot. I like this Johnson guy. He's a possibility in Chicago if he gets a role. Singletary, not a huge fan of. Gainwell, really like passing work. He's going higher than his rank, so his ADP going up. So if you can grab him later, that's a good thing. Ford, I like. Spears behind Henry is an option. Elliott signed with uh, New England here. He, he's viable now. I can see his rank coming up a little bit. Um, they don't, just don't have the best backs there. I mean, they got Stevenson, but like, I, I just don't think you target Stevenson. That's why I'm not on Stevenson Elliott. I just. He, he's viable if you get him to like 160, 170 pick, or some people were on drafting him for a while before he figured out who he's signing with. But if you can still get him late, grab him, but like don't burn picks on some of these guys. I like Chase Brown here, Gus Edwards later. Um, those guys later I like, and not much after that. Um, I did like some Zach Moss. I did like some Michael Carter here, but like now we're kind of running out um, guys, but Michael Carter is kind of in that screwed up back. So that's position breakdown for that. Let's go through receivers. I want to try to speed this up a little bit. Jefferson's good. Chase, we know all these guys. I'm lower on Hill. Uh, Cup's good. Diggs, you know, A.J. Brown. I think Eagles have the easiest schedule this year. So stack stack Hurts and, and the Brown stack. You know, get some lamb I can. I like the lamb in Brown if you can grab him on the turn here. So if you're like the 12th pick and CD's there still, take CD and Brown together. I like that because, you know, that week 17 correlation we talk about a little bit. Um, so Devontae Adams, I'm lower on Garrett Wilson. I really like um, jo oh, Jalen Waddle. I like oh, Chris Holloway. Can't say his name, but I don't really like him. I'm not getting a lot of him where I'm drafting Smith. I, I like him if I can get him. You know, two Higgins. You know, get them stacked. You know, stack with QB DK Metcalf. I like a lot. Allen, I like in this position. Ridley, I'm not getting much of. He hasn't played in a while, so we're still seeing Debo. You know, Mari Cooper's getting older. Don't don't mind it with the Watson stack. I stack all my receivers with quarterbacks mostly on these higher guys. If I grab Cooper, I'm probably gonna try to get a Watson or or Keenan Allen. Try to I mean I, I like to pair some of these guys with my other guys because you're not gonna be able to stack every one of these guys, obviously. You're gonna want some of these guys without stacking too. But like Kirk I'm high on, Judy I'm high on with the Allen run back or, or Mike Williams here. We can get, you know, we get that charger stack real late. We'll talk about stocks in a minute. Watson, I like in Green Bay. I think that Green Bay with Reed, Watson, and Dobbs is going to be pretty nasty with Jordan Love. That's a stack we talk about. Clorin, not getting as much, but Washington does have an offense. They might be able to move the ball. We'll see how Howell looks, but I mean, Chicago, DJ Moore, too. You know, Fields, I'm not high on, but you know, he's a elite, legit re elite receiver for Fields. So if he can find him, they could be decent. London, not, that's a mess over there. Ayuk, it's just too many weapons in San Francisco. I just don't know who's getting the ball. They have upside, you know, game by game upside, but like they spread it out so much. I, I'm going to tell you my secret weapon soon. It's going to be in the tight end range. It's going to be on San Francisco, which you know what I'm talking about. But I think he's a better pickup than Debo and Ayuk and stuff like that. Godwin, the mess with Baker, but he's got to get the work. Uh, Johnson, I like. Lockett, I like. Marquise Brown, I like that Arizona stack. You can get Rondell Moore, Brown, and Murray all late. That's a good thing. It's like a secondary stack to your main stack. Um, Tony, I like because you can get him way late from what his rank is. I've been drafting him just because he's falling to me, and I finally pick him up and I get him with a Mahomes Kelsey stack, which we'll we'll go through tight end next. Evans, you can get you know stack up with um, Godwin. That's a nice stack. Pittman, I really like because you're getting a top tier receiver. You're getting him quite late. Dave Davis, the same. He's a second receiver. You know, you can see that like he's this guy's by second receivers. But Pittman, you know, they have a chance of doing some work there in the Colts, and, and he's going to get work. So, uh, Najabe, I like him. Addison, these guys are rookies. I like them. Burks got hurt. We'll see what happens with him. But he projected to have a big year. Um, Pickens is good. Dotson's good. Cooks, I'm not on as much. Dot, well, Dotson's good, but like, you know, he's good. I, I don't know. Washington, I'm a little as I'm going to try to get some Howell stacks though soon. Quinn Johnson, I really like. You're getting him around ADP. Um, just because 
It's a charger stack that I like. Something I like too right here, the same spot. I run back on that week 17 correlation. So look up that. Mike Thomas, I'm not getting too much of. Elijah Moore, I, I should try to get him more in a, in a brown stack. Um, Baltimore, I'm not high on the, these guys here. I, I just don't know. I'm like, I'd rather take Quentin Johnson and some of those guys over these guys. Bateman, yeah, and all these receivers are kind of bunched up here in the middle. It's hard to stack them when they all go relatively similar spots. I mean, Flowers is going earlier, but I, I don't think he's any more hype than these other two, you know. So I just, they spread the ball around there. And there's Andrews there, so the tight end's a little bit more crazy, you know. So, um, yeah. So Lazard's here. I like him. Williams out for six games. He can't stop gambling. I mean, who who gambles that much? I mean, what are you guys doing gambling on? Who, who's doing that? Crazy, right? Why would we be gambling? Who wants to do that? <laughs> All right, Boyd, Zay Jones, mid-tier guys. I like Tyler Boyd a lot more. Dobbs a lot. Rondell Moore's explosive. I think he's going to be a player. He's just got to pick up his game. Hopefully, he's going to have a better year than he had. Nico Collins, a lot of hype there. He's getting picked up earlier than normal. Sky Moore's getting picked up a lot earlier, too, with hype in KC. Schuster's getting you know regular ADP, but like, it's always been not great. They have a lot of weapons. They spread the ball out in New York. Not New York, New England. Sorry. And yeah, so we'll see what how he looks over there. But I like the Mac Jones stack, Devontae Parker, Juju, you know, like Hunter Henry, Mike Gasecki. There's just a lot of weapons there. You know, they really spread it around. But like you can get the stack so late, so it hits value. Everyone's like, oh, don't stack these teams. But it's like if they fall to you. You can get a secondary stack, and DFS we want stacks. Best ball we want stacks. So don't don't shy away from those kind of things. Um, I'm not on the 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 Raiders a little bit or at all actually, not even a little bit. So I might have to get some more exposures to like Myers and Adams type Garoppolo stack. Uh, but I don't really feel it's going to be a huge stack that we want. KJ Osborne with that Minnesota stack, I was higher on him than like Addison and. And Jefferson, but you got those guys to worry about. So, like, he should get some work. Thielen over there in Carolina, not, not a huge fan. I mean, it's a late-round stack you can get. So, if, you, if it falls to you, make it work. He's going later. Gallup, I like with the Dallas stack. If you're getting it, Mooney, you can get with the Chicago stack. Hodgins, Giants stack, I'm not really on. They got a bunch of crap receivers. They do got Darren Waller, which not on at all. And I'm, I have Waller in my Dynasty League, and I'm not a fan. You know, we'll get to tight ends in a minute. Um, Rashawn Rice. Um, He's going to be good. KC needs somebody to throw the ball to. Scaling's not really stepped up his, his contract or anything. He's going above his rank. But, yeah, a lot of, a lot of these guys. Mingo, rookie, like Peoples Jones, I like this guy late. He's a good player. I think he'll get some work late. He's, he's probably one of the better guys in this field, the more proven guys, People Jones. You got Van Jefferson. He hasn't ever done anything for a second-round draft pick. He was. DJ Shark. He's a late round Carolina stack you can get. Curtis Samuel, I like him in the late round for the Washington stack. If you got that Pierce, that Colt stack, you can get that all for a secondary stack. Got one of those with my Herbert stacks. I got it then a Richardson stack secondary. Um, Rashad, Rashid, Shahid, I'm not a fan of New Orleans. Mims, I like because he's a good run back to that Herbert stack. Renfro, no, no thanks. Reed, yes, I made a video about him. He's going about ADP. I like him. Campbell, another Giants crap receiver. Hyatt, another Giants crap receiver. Just don't know who, what the hell they're going to do there, to be honest with you. Thornton, I like his speed. He's going way later, so that's kind of why I like him. Um, he should be good. He's had some nice catches in preseason, but he's also come down with an injury. And Patrick, do not draft this guy. He's obviously hurt. Uh, Mechie, man, I'm blowing through these receivers play-by-play -play for you guys. This is a pretty good video, I think, right? Mechie, so hit that like button. Don't forget that. I always talk about that. Actually, I do like. He's going a little bit about ADP, so you get him there. Richie James, he moved over to KC. I just don't know if he's really that needed. Vakir, Buffalo, and uh, Parker's at first. I mean, signed a $30 million deal, and you're getting him at 190 I mean, sign me up. This guy, Palmer. They got Quentin Johnson now. I mean, he could be left out of the system. But, I mean, you're getting him so late that he's viable. Slayton, another Giants. Receiver. I mean, how many guys they got in there? It just means they don't know who the hell they're going to throw the ball to. All these guys are vi viable what that means, which means we probably shouldn't draft any of them. Hardman for the Jets, he looks kind of speedy, might give him something that, you know, dynamic to all the other receivers that I like, Lazard and, and Garrett Wilson, and then you got uh, Woods for Houston, another late round stack. Uh, this guy I would be higher on, but I, I don't know his injury status or what he's doing, but he's like the sixth guy, I don't even know. But he looked good at times last year, but we're not drafting the Giants, right? We don't draft the 
Dorch with the Arizona Claypool, I was a little higher on, but he isn't an underwhelming year, but he's had some big games, so there's some upside there. Maybe he starts fitting in better with Fields and they actually have an offense with three receivers they got, which could be potentially good. I mean, that's why Fields is going higher. So you could get that stack if you want. Marvin Jones with the Detroit stack. Josh Downs, another receiver. Marshall Tank Dell, I really like. Allen Robinson, that pit stack we didn't talk about. It, but he's number three on the depth chart. That's playable for a 224 draft pick. I think that's viable. Keen, if Burks is out, this guy is like number two, three. Um, well, Burks out, he's number two, but he'd be three right now. So you can get him late. I mean, he's still going to play. He's had some big over-the-top games and touchdowns, so go get that guy. And I don't really have anybody that's way down the list. So that was the receiver break. Um, so we also want to go through tight ends. This should be a lot. Kelsey's my number one. Andrews, I don't mind, but I'm going later on him. Hawkinson and Kittle. Kittle have the most of Hawkinson. I'm right around ADP if I get him. Hawkinson or Kittle, you can get later. I like the kiddo play. I think he's got just as much upside as anybody. Goddard, I like him way late. He's going over ADP. I think he's a better play than all of them. These two at least. All these guys except Kelsey. I think he just gets much work. The Eagles have a schedule this year. Very viable play. Now, Kyle Pitts. He's talented. He's athletic. What are they going to do? I like the player. I think I should draft him. I'm getting him good ADP. I like him, but a lot of people talk bad about him. This guy, ranked 73, but he's going way earlier. Why? I have no idea why. I love Darren Waller. I've got him in Dynasty League. He's a great player, but he's hurt all the time. The Giants, I'm unsure about. They got all these guys all over. Barkley runs a lot, too. So, you know, he gets a lot of red zone touchdowns, Barkley and stuff. So, like, if you need Waller in the end zone, maybe it would be fine, but we don't know his upsides. I, I'm going to draft him a little bit more, but I think we should lower on him. Evan Ingram, big player, but a deal, but looked good last year. Big upside games, but not high on him. Njoku, I like the later round. I like getting him later, which is ADP value. Firemuth, I don't I don't mind this. Plays later. Schultz has always been good for Houston in the stack. And Kate, I really like this guy. I'm going to grab him in my Buffalo stacks. Delucci, I like him in my Denver stack. He going later too. Okoro, I've got a little bit of him because he's later. I can easily grab him. I'm um, Higby, not as much on that stack. I'm high on. Command, I'm not high on at all. Eifert, I like him a little bit in the Charger stack, but I'm getting him less than I have in the previous years. Laporta, I like him. A young, He's going earlier, so you got to grab him. I did get Smith recently. He's going a little bit later. Hill, this guy, you know, he's a tight end eligible. Like, this guy was going to throw touchdown passes. He's going to run touchdown passes. He's got Wildcat. You're going to get more points than... Just tight end. So, like, for a 180 pick, grab my fan. I think it's good ADP. Juwan Johnson, same way. Dawson Knox, I've always been a fan of him. You're getting him late. You know, if you can get him or Kincaid, one of those guys I think is viable. Kaseki a little bit. Meyer a little bit. Conklin a little bit. They're getting later. Hurst, I'm not on this Carolina stack. Likely, he's had potential. I think he could be better than Andrews someday. I mean, not better than Andrews, but, like, he could be better than Andrews this year. Andrews gets hurt. Or, like, Something happens. He he he's a viable fill, and he looked good when Andrews was out last year. Uh, Musgrave, I like him. You're getting him a lot earlier than his rank, though, so you're gonna have to. He's not sneaky anymore. Where we talked about him earlier in the in the Packers stack. Ferguson, I don't mind. Fan, this is the guy right here. Fan, you can get this guy late, and I like Fan. I liked him when he was on the other team. He looked good when he was on Seattle. Now, I think the guy Pride, you can get him. Arizona in that stack. Ertz is always hurt. Kind of bummed up. Older now. Maybe take my pride. Hope Ertz gets hurt again. Case hurt. Whatever. Woods. Um, he's not bad in that Richards stack we talk about. And let's go back to Ertz. I don't wish an injury on anybody, but I'm just saying what these guys happen in the in the past. Usually the futures that keep getting hurt or something happens. So that's where we're at. I like Ertz when he played for the Eagles. Was great. Um, I understand the play. If you want them, you can draft either one of those guys. It's fine. Woods is fine for the stack. Henry, Ogun Thomas for Washington. These guys are older guys, but you can get them past like ADPs coming up on him a little bit. I think he's better than Gusecki. Probably Gusecki ranked higher. So we'll see. Shoemaker, this guy is not, not an awful pick. He's going a little lower. And besides that, you get Smythe later that might be viable. Washington, maybe more of a blocking tight end, but. Um, We'll see Kate Otten's a guy down here you could grab. I think he's a starting tight end for the Bucks in the stack like that. All right, so 
that's the breakdown for everyone, guys. Um, we'll do a quick rundown of our stacks here. So these are some of our stacks that we're going to be going with. Packers, Broncos, all the stacks I talk about. I don't want to give out too much premium content, but that's what we're going to do. So a little bit of strategy we're going to talk about. Um, so with the strategy is how you want to stack these guys. So stacking with correlation and runbacks, that's key. So I broke down all the players. So then you can see my stacks in the playbook that will be posted um, later as well with this. Um, I'll have the link in the description for the video. And we'll just kind of keep talking about it. The Discord's going to start popping soon for NFL. We got some NFL promos coming out you're going to want to check out. They're going to be sweet. You're going to want to pick up a package from TrueDFS. It's going to be awesome. You're also going to want to hit the like button on this video before I get to final stacks, correlation, strategy. So if you notice, when you're drafting, I don't tend to veer too far from ADP. I stay with it. I don't try to reach for stacks. Your, your draft position kind of creates what stack you're going to end up. so the guys you get early are kind of where you're the quarterbacks you're going to want to see about hey my th three or four picks later i'm going to have to grab my quarterback that goes with my stack because that's right around my adp okay well sometimes guy will come in and snatch your guy and vice versa you know you'll you'll take another guy or i, I showed you a trick in a previous youtube short that you're going to want to look at the guys around you and say hey these guys already have their quarterback they're not going to take a quarterback if i got like the 19th pick here, and then I got like the 30th pick. There's like all these guys in between. But if, say, I had the 22nd pick and this pick here, there's four picks in between my guy. Well, if I hold off and I grab Mike Williams right here, is Herbert still going to make it to me at this pick, right? Well, if these guys all have their quarterbacks already, this guy is Hurts, this guy is Mahomes, but yeah, they're not going to grab Herbert most likely. <laughs> So he's going to be available there. So you take Mike Williams. So these guys don't grab Mike Williams. Instead of reaching for Herbert right away, they're going to take Mike Williams. You grab Mike Williams, they leave Herbert for you. And, and there could be a bigger stretch there too, guys. There could be a lot bigger stretch there where, you know, there's like six, seven, eight picks in, in between where you got to kind of look at what the other guys got and kind of make it work for you, you know. So that's what you guys really want to do. Um, for that, studying a little bit, making sure I do a lot of the eight hours. So I got time to focus on my picks. I can do my cues, right? I have guys in the queue. I've just started this one. That's why it's kind of earlier one. I don't, I'm down to about nine going. I'm going to have to start doing some more, uh, daily with the 30 seconds. So those get a little bit more rushed, but that means other people are rushing it too. So they miss picks or something happens. So stay stacking, you know, three to five guys per stack with you, with your lineups, you're going to want to do. You're also going to want to, you know, make sure you got, you can even uh, a running back stacked in there. I like to a little bit. I like week 17 correlation. Not a lot of people do that. So the Chargers play the Denver Broncos week 17. I got some Bronco stacks with the Herbert stack. You know, I got some Geno stacks in there with some other good stacks. Like you want to get some stacks of these high potent offense. Like you see me, I'm not stacking the Giants. I'm, they have six receivers that you could get, you know, you know, like, I mean, yeah, Daniel Jones could be good. Those late round quarterbacks could be good. I mean, there's going to be some late round quarterbacks that go off. Like Derek Carr could get you 25 points every week, and he's just as viable, right? Like that's a lot of points you didn't, and you got elite players in the early round, right? So you get all the elite players, and then try stacking some of these crap quarterbacks late. Rodgers and Goff, Wilson, Carr. You can get Murray. You can get Jordan Love. Yeah, you know, grab two of these guys later, and you have all these explosive players early in the draft too. I don't mind the strategy you take. But I also like guaranteed Hurts rushing touchdowns and easy schedule in his stack. I like Mahomes. He throws the ball for 300 yards a game. I like Herbert. He's going later in the draft, so I can still get three studs in front of my guy. Henry, Kelsey, Herbert, Mike Williams stack. Like, literally going on right now. Like, it's amazing. Like, I'm getting good players with Herbert stack. Like, they could be the number one offense in the league. They have weapons. They have talent. They have an offensive coordinator that wants to push the ball. They went for it on the more, most fourth downs I've ever seen any team do. They're aggressive with the ball. They want to score points. They move the ball. I think they're getting better as a team. They got more weapons. They added Quinn Johnson, big guy. They had three lethal receivers, I think. Uh, tight ends that are viable. They got Eckler that catches pass out of the backfield. They got Herbert that's huge, throws it, perfect balls. I mean, he's a good quarterback. Right. Um, so I'm big on the Chargers, and seems like everybody last year was big on the Chargers. It's not so much. So that's good. That means we're going to win. 
right? The Chargers are going to do good this year. They're going to win. So just try to stack have it all, all of it up, guys. That's my best strategy that I can stack things like that. Um, you know, doing some correlation like mini stacks, like RB to receiver, like creating a DFS line of four best balls, kind of what I mimic my lineups around. Um, so I really enjoy that doing that. I'm trying to keep the video short, making sure I'm covering everything. I wanted to cover player by player basics, so you kind of understood who we're targeting and who we want. Do you're going to be able to see the playbook that I'm posting in the in the premium for our premium members? So we'll be able to have the best ball playbook up there. But start drafting. Make sure you're drafting during lunch. Take care of the wife at night. We don't want you know you don't you don't want to get that cash flow stop. So you can't be playing any DFS you know or best ball. So. So I really think, guys, you're going to want to just stick to the playbook, stick to the basics, stay up to date with my daily videos on who to target. Um, I like some of those later round stacks that you can get. It shows all in my playbook, higher or lower on those guys. Um, just make sure you stay correlated. Make sure you're not overloading the position. So two QBs is kind of what I want to do. I do some three QBs occasionally if there's, if there's a good one or another one that's still there and I can grab a good ADP. But I try to load up on nine, eight to nine receivers, two to three, or probably three tight ends on every roster. Um, unless I got like, that's another thing. If we take, so I'll get those tight ends. So if we take Travis Kelsey, I'm not taking another tight end away later. I got an elite tight end. If Kelsey gets hurt, this line's probably right. You know, so don't go and grab Goddard or Kelsey right after. You. Then, oh, I got two tight ends trying to fill one spot. Well, then you waste two picks, and then you got weak receiver. Right? You got no running. Right? So really stick to ADP. If you grab a good tight end or grab some good receivers, make sure you mid round you try to grab one of these running backs. You know, don't just like receiver, 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 receiver. I got seven receivers right off. The well, now you got to find a quarterback, which is probably going to be easy to do. If you get your eighth pick, will be a quarterback that matches the stack. But you ain't got no running backs. You ain't got a tight end yet. I mean, yeah, there's some good late tight ends. But you're not going to, you got a mess of a team. You got seven receivers for three spot, four spots with the flex, right? So you've overloaded a position when you didn't need to, you know? So that's what we're talking about on position overload. Don't overload it. Positions, get a strong spot. Don't just keep grabbing that same. Kind of move around and flex a little bit on your other side. Week 17, look at the matchups, guys. Who plays who week 17? Make sure you get some correlation there. It's not a must. It's, it's probably not a must. But last year I had that Bengals Bills stack for the final week. It was obviously a Monday night game that did not happen due to an injury. It was very unfortunate. I had a very good stack, a week 17 billion dollar best ball lineup that could have moved up drastically with Josh Allen stack, Gabe Davis. I think I had Diggs in that one, and I had Tyler Boyd. So, like, I had a nice correlation. Tyler Boyd scored a touchdown for the Bengals. Josh Allen just had to go to work on the other way around. And we, we had some nice stuff through. And I think I had Chase in that one as well. So, I chased Boyd and three Bengals uh, or, or three Bills. So, like, it was a beautiful lineup and it could have really done some work. But we're here today teaching you guys about best ball this year, trying to make round four, what we got to do, follow the playbook. Do stick to ADP, make the stacks work, don't overload the position, don't overload your stacks too. I found last year I was getting too many too many of my guys stacked up. So like I'd get too many players in one stack, and I think that kind of hurt the overall lineups for moving on. I think maybe later on in the rounds, like playoff rounds, it would help it out a little bit. But if you don't make the playoff rounds, it doesn't matter. Just don't overload the position too much. And then second, don't overload the stack. Okay, you don't want too much of one team, you know, that's why I stick three to five guys in the stack, including the quarterback. So you have one quarterback, two pass catchers, or a running back there for the fourth guy, or maybe a fifth for the tight end. So that's fine. You have three receivers and a running back and a quarterback, that's fine. So stick to the five man stack and then get another stack going. If you can, then you have multiple stacks in your fastball lineup. 20 guys. So I hope this video wasn't too long. I think that's all that I want to cover. In the video, I'm excited to launch this video later this evening. It's going to be a banger. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not following it. Check out our new 
premium plans we got launching for the NFL season. Hopefully within one or two weeks, we have our NFL promos out. And you guys are signed up and ready to go for the entire NFL season. Sticking with True DFS. We're going to give you guys all the winning plays. And everyone's going to win DFS here from True DFS. We have a huge, huge season for NFL. It starts with best ball because you can draft now. Make sure you're drafting your lunch. And as always, 